All right, Mr. Brescher here. Today we're going to look at divisibility and using divisibility rules to solve different problems. Here's an example. There are 151 students in the middle school that signed up to play basketball. If each team will be assigned exactly nine players, will there be a spot for everyone? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to solve this problem. And on this question, if not, how many players will we have to add or drop to keep the teams at exactly nine players? All right, today we're going to learn how to check for divisibility using mental math. And we're also going to learn how to solve problems using divisibility rules. And these rules will be for 2, 3, 5, 9, and 10. First, we need to examine some of our academic vocabulary terms like divisible, even number, and odd number. So, what does it mean if a number is divisible by another number? That's right. If a number is divisible, then it can be divided evenly by another number. An example would be 12 divided by 4. The answer is exactly 3, and there is no remainder. Therefore, 12 is divisible by 4. What is an even number? OK, yes, any number, any whole number that ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 would be an even number. And finally, what is an odd number? That's right, an odd number is a whole number that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. All right, now we can examine some divisibility rules. Go ahead and take out a paper and pencil so you can record these rules, and then we can test them later. Our first rule is a whole number will be divisible by 2 if the number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So if it's an even number, it's divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the number's digits is divisible by 3. If we examine this one with an example like 42, I would find the sum of the number's digits. That's 4 plus 2 and that equals 6. 6 is divisible by 3. Therefore, I know that the number 42 is divisible by 3. That's how we can use that particular rule to check for divisibility by 3. Next, a number is divisible by 5, a whole number, if it ends in a 0 or 5. So all you have to do is look at the last digit. If it's a 0 or a 5, then it's divisible by 5. Our next rule, a number is divisible by 9. This is similar to uh, the divisibility rule for 3. We have to have the sum or find the sum of the number's digits and see if it's divisible by 9. So if I go back to that example, 42, I would add 4 plus 2 equals 6. Is 6 divisible by 9? No, it's not divisible by 9. We can't take 6 divided by 9 and come out with a whole number. Therefore, this number 42 is not divisible by 9. But if I changed it to 72, now the sum of the digits is equal to 9, and 9 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 72 is divisible by 9. Okay, and our last one is the divisibility rule for 10. This one's really easy. All you have to do is look at the last digit. If it ends in a 0, or the last digit is a 0, then you know the number is divisible by 10. Now let's try to apply some of these steps. We have the problem 720. We're going to test this for divisibility. You can follow along with me. The first thing we want to do is see if it's divisible by 2. Does the number end in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? 
When we look at the last digit, we can see it does end in a zero, and therefore it must be divisible by two. I'll put a check mark next to that rule. You should be doing the same thing. Is it divisible by three? We need to find the sum of the number's digits and determine if that is divisible by three. So let's add them together. Seven plus two plus zero equals nine. Is nine divisible by three? That's right, it is. So we put a check mark next to that one. Now, looking at the next rule. Five, if the number ends in a zero or five, does this one end in a zero or five? Let's again look at that last digit right here. Yep, it ends in a zero. So it is divisible by five. The next rule. Check to see if the number is divisible by 9. Is the sum of the number's digits divisible by 9? Here's the sum of the number's digits. Is 9 divisible by 9? Yes. 9 divided by 9 is exactly 1. So 720 is divisible by 9. And finally, is the number divisible by 10? Once again, we look at that last digit. And it is a zero, so it does fit our rule. And we would say that 720 is divisible by 2, 3, 5, 9, and 10. Now I have some problems for you to practice on your own. Try the numbers 354 and 6105. All right, let's move on. Now we're back to that original problem. There are 151 students in the middle school that are signed up to play basketball. If each team needs exactly nine players, will there be a spot for everyone? So what should we do here? That's right. We want to test the number to see if it's divisible by nine. One plus five plus one. I need to find the sum of the number's digits and see if it's divisible by nine. That is equal to... 7. Is 7 divisible by 9? No. Therefore, we're going to have to examine it a little bit more closely. How many players will we have to add or drop to keep the team at exactly 9 players? Well, let's look at add first. We want this value to equal 9, right? So we would have to change this number since it's the ones place, to make it two higher. So instead of a one, we could make it a three. Now the sum of the number's digits would be equal to nine, which is divisible by nine. That would give us exactly nine players per team. What if I wanted to drop some players? Let's try just dropping a few of them. Remember, we started with 151. If I drop, let's say, three players from this team, then that's going to bring it down to 148. Okay. The sum of the digits, 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 4 more is 13. Is that divisible by 9? No. So we're going to have to drop a few more. I want this number to get or to a value that's divisible by 9. If I drop it down 3 more, excuse me, 4 more, now the sum of the number's digits is 9, and we found a number that's divisible by 9. So they could drop... Uh, from 151 down to 144 and have another number that is divisible by 9. Well, I hope this helped you out, and have a good day.